Hi. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm also known as Bombalapti on Twitch. Uh, also YouTube or whatever. And I like playing video games. And one game in particular that I am currently enjoying is Fallout 76. Yeah! Actually, you know what? Fine, whatever. I'm, I'm trying my best to get through this stuff uh, thinking on the go. I don't have a script here. This is all weirdly raw. <laughs> so expect a lot of weird edits and cuts and stuff like that. So anyway, Fallout 76 comes out and it's a broken mess. And uh, people are having a heyday with it. It is um, critically acclaimed as mediocre. And people that love shitting on Bethesda are shitting on it even more. Those that have a YouTube career being cynical video gamers are having a, uh, a, a world of, of joy with it. And I get it. That's the thing. I get it. As somebody that likes Fallout games, seeing 76 come out and, and being as rough as it is, I totally understand why people would have their problems and issues with it. Uh, my experience is different than theirs. You know, I, I have server issues sometimes and it does get a little bit glitchy here and there, but it doesn't impede my enjoyment of the game. And that's kind of the problem and the whole reason why I'm making this video in the first place. Um, it's not an issue to make fun of something when you know it's bad. We all do it, right? Um, I, for example, I play a hell of a lot of Overwatch, and we poke fun of, uh, me and my group of friends, we poke fun of Overwatch all the time. I'm just memeing. Yeah. Me Watch, up, bro. See, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let everyone know. Watch, time to meme. Time to meme. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> my dude? No. <laughs> <laughs> talk about the game as if we are Jeff talking about this this new and broken and terrible thing that is happening in the game. It's, it's what we do, but uh, I don't know if, like I can't really speak for them, but for my places is, is that I, I jokingly talk about this stuff because I do enjoy the game. It has its issues and I enjoy playing it by myself and with other people, even though I'm like ranting and being angry on Twitch. But that's all because it comes from a place of love and like a place of enjoying this stuff. Um, in the case of Fallout 76, people are having a heyday shitting all over Bethesda because for some reason people enjoy shitting all over Bethesda. And I get it, you know? Uh, Fallout, it's kind of a little too early for another Fallout game. Um, Fallout 76 is essentially uh, 4.2. <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as saying 4.5. Visually, it does actually look different, and there are some gameplay tweaks that they did in 4 and put into Fallout 76. It's kind of, it's plain as day. Even when they were initially talking about it, you could tell that a lot of work that they were putting into Fallout 76 are just recycled assets into 4. And, um... I just, I don't know. I've been putting a lot of hours into this game already. Uh, I'm enjoying it step by step with every new thing that I'm experiencing and exploring. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun for me, and I wanted to put together a little video review of sorts of my time and experience with the game. And the only problem with that is that, like, the shit talking about Bethesda is so far deep. I'm under the impression that there's no way to positively talk about something without being sent a barrage of hate. Uh, I, Even if I were to go as far as sharing a cute little clip that happened of like, oh, you know, here's this glitchy thing, and it's weird, but it's funny, because, you know, like, it didn't, it doesn't impede my experience, and I would go and I would share that in my little social circle, and it's immediately met with, what a failure. And it's, it's stuff like that 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 kills it for me that 
you go out of your way, you spend money on something, and you're actually actively enjoying it. But like the hatred for whatever this product is, is is outweighing your own experience. So now instead of doing a video about how much I'm enjoying a video game, I'm sitting here talking about how like, oh man, maybe I should fucking defend this thing. The only problem with that is that there's nothing to defend. Uh, my entire experience, my whole knowledge of Bethesda games is that they've always been broken because of how they wanted to design that stuff. So the coding is flawed. Sure, I get that. And this Fallout 76 being an online game, it's flawed even more because its onlineness has only opened the gate for all these other terrible things that have happened. Sure, and you could make the argument that people shouldn't be spending full price on something that is this buggy. And you're right. Uh, it's a misstep on Bethesda's part to um, sell this game as a full price thing, given what it is. Uh, me being a Canadian alone, you know, I practically spent $90 on this thing because our dollar is doing so well. <laughs> So then I'm also coming from this place that a lot of the people that I know are shitting all over this game are people that I know are never going to touch this. Because I can't go into a space and feel like, you know, you know, I want to enjoy this game, I want to talk about this game, I want to like share all these things that are happening with this game, but then I have to deal with the daily ritual of Bethesda fucked up. And what do you do with that? Uh, maybe like people that are playing these games forever finally saying that this is the last straw, I totally understand that. People that are new to Bethesda games saying this is actually kind of buggy as hell, I totally understand that. But there's no point in kicking people when you're down. If I'm talking to somebody and saying all these things are about the game, the l the least that somebody can do in response to that is say, well, yeah, okay, uh, this game isn't for me. There's so many really great, super amazing games that have come out this year, and I made the decision to buy Fallout 76 because I love the world of Fallout. I love the post-apocalypse. It does not bother me that I am even more isolated in Fallout 76 than I've ever been in three and four. This is the stuff that I enjoy and I can't enjoy it because the hatred for it is so much stronger that I don't even want to be in the same space as other people because I know they're just going to continue to shit on it. So yeah, if I can't talk about how good this game is, and if I feel like I have to defend it, which I won't, what can I talk about? It's in a weird place. But it's gonna get better. It hopefully will get better. I do want to see what their long-term goal is with Fallout 76. Because even though something is broken now, doesn't mean it won't get fixed. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> it'll get better. For other people, it'll probably never get better. There's already some bias. There already, it's a losing battle to try and impress those people. And I don't know. I don't care. But it sure as hell makes it really hard to enjoy something. <sighs> anyway, that's all I got. If this makes sense at the end of the video, then great, we did it as a team. <laughs> it's frustrating, but I get through it. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. I don't want to sit here and defend the game, but it's really hard to collect the... Like, it's, it's hard to say the right thing.